Hey guys, Wild for Games here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Twitch Upload Stats page. This way you can have a better understanding of how to look at how your videos are doing. Make sure you're logged into Twitch. Go to your dashboards and go to the Video Stats tab. From here you'll be taken to the default page which will show you all of your archived streams, your uploads, and all of your highlights put together in for all the analytical data for a grand total. You can see on the left here we have total views of 882, total minutes watched over 6,000, and average view duration for about seven minutes. If we scroll down, we're gonna see the geography of all of my information listed out here in the top fives. So for geography, we can see most of everything that has been watched has been from the United States, Netherlands, Canada, and so forth, and all the sources that they're coming from. Main one being Twitch, then Google and Twitter and so forth. And then the platform that they're coming from, the web or Android device or iOS. Let's take a look at a specific video. If we go up to the top where we see filter by video, it's gonna have all of the videos that we've ever introduced to Twitch. It's first gonna have all the actual uploads that I've uploaded to Twitch, followed by all the highlights that I've created for Twitch, and then it's gonna have all the archive streams that you've told Twitch to archive if you have that option on. It would be nice if it actually put a little A next to archive stream and perhaps a little H next to highlight stream and a little U next to uploaded videos. This way it kept things a little more organized because if you have a lot of videos or a lot of highlights, you might get confused on where you are. But let's take a look at one of the videos that I actually did for the creative section. How to apply liquid white. Let this load, and you're gonna be taken to the default page, which gives you a general overview. It's gonna let you know the title of your video up here, and then it's gonna let you know when you actually published this video, followed by how many people how many people have seen the video, followed by the grand total of how long it's been watched for, and the average duration of this video. We'll get back to this number in a minute. At the bottom here, you'll actually see the geography of the top five, if there is top five. I live in the United States, so it's not a surprise that the United States has the most views, followed by the United Kingdom, France, and so forth. To the right, you get to see all the traffic sources. There aren't many that I actually pull in since I am a small streamer. Most of mine come from Twitch, and then I also pull in one from Google. If we scroll all the way to the bottom here, you'll see the platforms where people are actually watching it from. Everybody seems to have watched this one from web. If you want any specific details on this particular video, scroll up to the top and go over to the details tab and tick on that. Let all the information load. And the first thing you wanna do, if this video is quite old, change the view data. Change it to the last 28 days and this it will actually show you the line graph of how many people have actually watched this video from when I actually select my dates within here. It comes with some added filters if I want to see view count or minutes watched or average duration that we've seen on previous pages, but it also has sub filters, which you can do by country, platform, and refer. This way you get to see what days you have the greatest impact or if something kind of actually has longevity or it's kind of losing traction. This is just a fun, unique way to actually see how well your videos do and if they are actually doing something right or resonating with a particular group of people that you might want to concentrate on certain aspects. But let's go back to one of the numbers I wanted to talk about. If I go to a video that I made before called Fixing Twitch Auto Hosting Issues, and I go to the overview, I can see that 20 people have watched the video, grand totaling 86 minutes, and the average duration is four minutes and 30 seconds. The problem I have with this number is it's not like YouTube. It's taking 86 and dividing it by 20, and that's how it's coming up with four minutes and 30 seconds. Well, what's the problem with that? The problem is my video is only three minutes long. So it doesn't give me a good indication if my video is doing well. If this number was properly introduced by how many people watch it and then click off of it and took that in consideration, for example, if people only watch the video for two minutes out of a three minute video, I know I'm pulling in at least 66% of their attention, which would be pretty good if I equate 50% to average. 
But since I can't even use this number, since it's over 120%, I don't know if the video is doing that well. I hopefully in the future, they'll change this number to take in consideration when people click off. So that way I would know if I'm doing videos good or worse. Because I'd like to enhance that aspect. And that's the issue I have with that number there. It would be nice if they brought out a little more analytics for these. I mean, they just brought this out, so it will be nice eventually to see certain things like that. Hopefully this showed you some of the basic rundowns of actually how to look into the, the stats for each video, whether it be an archive stream, an upload, or a highlight. You can actually see how well it's doing or how well it's resonating within your community or if you even want to promote it with on third-party platforms such as like Reddit perhaps or even YouTube itself. I hope this was very informational for you guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys liked this video and hopefully it will help you out with your own videos that you put on Twitch. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a nice thumbs up. You can also follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Don't forget to also check out our other videos to the left-hand side, and I will see you guys later. Take care.